The regional minister's arrival at Garu was met with a protest where some residents expressed concern over the military's brutality and demanded independent investigations into the matter. There was actually no reason for that high level of molestation of our youth. And uh, we believe strongly over 100 have been hospitalized for two clear days and some of them are still at the hospital. That is highly unwarranted at this area that we find ourselves as a nation. Even with all the instruments, the equipment, everything you have, you cannot investigate to see who actually did this. And you have to beat everybody in Garu. We think it's a disappointment. And they must bite their hands in shame. Others condemned social and media commentators who sought to bastardize the residents, calling them terrorists. We, the youth of Garu, want to tell TV3 and this panel is that we are not militia group. We are not militants. We only saw a suspicious vehicle. And true to our suspicion, when the, the vehicle got to the police station, they saw ammunition inside the vehicle. The best they can do is to support us, to help them fight, to, to fight terrorism, help them with the insecurity situation. The National Democratic Congress parliamentary candidate for Garu, Dr. Thomas Anabari, requested government and the security apparatus to enhance their investigation mechanisms to minimize unwarranted harm to citizens. The best they can do in Garu is to come and collect all Garu people, put them in the place, censor them one by one, release those who are not suspects, and take their suspects. Good. Take them to a competent court with a competent judge to rule whether they are guilty or not guilty. Good. Other than that, what they did here was barbaric, undemocratic, inhuman, and it is only done by vigilantes like the military who came here. The Apais Regional Minister, Stephen Yaku, sympathized with the residents of the two districts and called for calm. Well, we've listened to all what you are saying, the abuse, the things and all that we've heard, all that. Uh, some are even complaining that uh, their phones were taken away. Uh, some are even complaining that their monies were taken away. These are uh, reports that we are going to put together and to also let Accra know what exactly what we have come to hear and what we have come to also tell. So it is good that we are here to see everything first hand. The youth called on the government to release those picked up by the military.